Hi guys, welcome to another Game Boys are Awesome video, guys. So today, as you guys can see, the episode of Carbon is episode 72. So 72 is finally here. Hope you guys are enjoy this one. This was actually when I did the last weekend, which would have been Bank Holiday weekend. So I did a Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday car boot. I did one on Saturday, uh, three on Sunday, and I did one on the Monday. So it was a crazy, crazy car boot weekend. And yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a few cool things. Um, hopefully I've got some okay things on footage. I didn't get a lot of stuff on footage because um, a lot of time I couldn't actually get my camera on because I was too close to people. But yeah, hopefully the footage I've got you guys will enjoy. And as always, I'll throw in the clips and I'll see you at the end of the video, guys. See you in So then, guys, the first car boot. Let's do this one. It's a Saturday and it's the first one I've done for a long time. Let's see what I can do here. wasn't anything amazing in that box i thought i'd have a little rummage through and yeah there wasn't anything really great and anything that was actually out after usual titles you see at car boots but i do come across a box here with some uh, xbox 360 games that i was interested in so yeah have a look for those how much are your games in this box Two quid, mate. Then. Two quid for the two of them, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Thank you. happy picking those up for a quid each, can't go wrong, some Sonic games to the collection. Come across the store, literally just right across it, and the guy has a game that I wouldn't mind having for the collection. Uh, it has some Mega Drive games, so I thought I'd definitely have a look at those and see what he's asking on them. So yeah, have a look at these. Well, it's all packed. Yeah, you go on. Yeah, I'm in. Put them to one side as well. Uh, hey, yeah. How much are these? Three quid okay. each. Three quid each. Cheers. Thank you very much. You take two on that one? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. I've already got the other ones, I thought I'd get one out of Pinball sort of. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's interesting then. Plan for a complete Genesis game. It's actually Genesis. I didn't realise it wasn't Mega Drive, but yeah, hopefully it should work in my console. And I come across this still here with loads of vintage games. A Mega Drive, Mass System, you name it. Awesome stuff here. And yeah, he does some really good prices. And later on, you'll find out that the guy actually knows who I am. But the way he recognises me is awesome. So, yeah, awesome stuff, dude. Oh, what about? Super Mario World in the box. No. What a buzz. Yeah. Let's put it here. All a five o'clock. All the same stuff's a five. And everything along here, Jap Stairs, Jap PlayStation, Mega Drive, Master System, GameCube, and all a five. Five o'clock. Yep, these ones are locked back in the three quid. Okay. I'll get that. Well, the four set ones, one for the one for the section three down there, that's not a pound or something. Um. Yeah. Oh. How, much, how much are these? How much is that? Five, five, five yeah. All five, mate. Alright. I swear I've seen that camera. I'm saying I'm going to draw. Yeah, buddy, thank you. Yeah. Whoa. Stay. That is the price cost. That is the price Yep. 
Ten? Yes. Give me two clams, is that all right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Good, mate. Can you get the back here? Oh, yeah. Good, mate. What do you do for these three together? That is the price, but yeah. I can't move on a fiver on them, mate. Alright. Oh, if I could, I would. Check it out. Um, I do it into that now, because I know what they're worth. Yeah. I'm just having a bit of a. Yeah, you know, it's fine. You do. I've seen that wallet before. <laughs> oh, you like that wallet, don't you? I saw it on a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably that person. <laughs> Well, me, I'm on Game Boys are awesome. Yeah, well, That's me. <laughs> You're awesome, man. <laughs> Cheers. What I reckon I <laughs> <laughs> you, Thanks a lot. Cheers. Hi, Panic Game. I was really happy you're paying that, and there's some games straight to the collection there. And as you saw, the guy recognised me. Um, he recognised me by my wallet and he wasn't sure if it was me but then I heard him talking about it and I ended up saying is it do you watch Game Boys are awesome and then I said that was me and yeah he does so that's who he was thinking it was and it was so very awesome to be noticed again at a car boot and to us by a seller so you made my day man and thanks a lot for the awesome deal really happy having someone on titles for the collection now thank you <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good to me, isn't it? So much that is, don't Yeah, I was about to ask him what it is. How much? How much is this? How? How much is this? Yeah. Can you take that one? I almost lost that one. Thank you. Almost. Pretty cool Harry Potter board game for only a quid and a, as you've seen a side up for only 20p. The Harry Potter trivia game I'm definitely going to keep in that because it's got some quite good questions and answers in it and yeah it's a good little fun game to play. Got the chess piece that one. One of the magazine for chess. Oh, yeah. So there's all loads in here. Right. I don't know how many. I don't know if Manda will want them. Yeah. You need the whole set though, don't you? Right. Oh, we've got all these. Might be enough. No, I'm not going to go that one to the tail. Look at it. 
How much is um that one goes in with it, doesn't it? Well, that same in the tape, I think there's some more in here now. Yeah. Some loose ones in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's some loose ones in here. We're gonna look at bag. Five of love. Oh, what about the magazines are they part of it as well? Uh no. They're a pound each, them look magazines. Okay. Yeah, they're all fixed in there, aren't they? Fantastic. They go with it, Kieran, those little bits down there. Yeah. I think so, little bits of a. Yeah, them little bits, I reckon they all go in there, look, yeah. There's a, there's, there's a pink mandel in my boot, I think. What did you do for all of it? All of that? You want to them? Yeah, all of it. I've got five of that, didn't I? So, so it's nine quid, look. Nine quid. Yeah. Sure, one. Can you get sure, one? Don't know. You do any less than nine? What do you want to give me? I don't know. Um, seven pounds or that? Yep, that's yeah. fine. Cleaning baby. Um, getting a job doing that, mate. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Go back to the baby. Don't ever find stuff these ones. You've chucked it all over there, thank you. Thank you very much. As you just seen I've got a load of Harry Potter stuff. It's actually the Harry Potter wizard chest stuff I bought of his woman. Um I I never really find it at car boots, it's not often you see it, but I thought I'd definitely grab that for seven quid and see what it's like. How much are your memory cards? All of them. Just a, just a couple of these ones. Quid? Quid, yeah. <coughs> yeah thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you remember these ones back as well? Those old... Uh, no. They're, they're well old, they're a little before like... Culligan. Before well. Kevin's time. They've got a unicycle. A unicycle, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'll have a look in there in a minute. Dirty hand, that's all. Yeah. How much is your joker? Four pounds. Four pounds. Yeah. I thought I'd ask how much the joker is. It looked quite cool, and I have a friend called Graham who actually loves joker, and I thought I'd definitely ask for four quid. I can't believe that. Yeah, how much that? Yeah, yeah we, off for the event. Well, I've changed these tunes, it's made. Alright, okay. Yeah. 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 Checking out the square, isn't it? Yeah. It's got the, is it the leg at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? For the, so. Yeah, can we leave it? Come back in a minute. Can we take it? Come back for it. Yeah, of course Let me just move it. Otherwise, we'll be. We're coming. <laughs> Dragging it round. I know what you're saying. Good fire. Good fire. Good fire. Good fire. Good fire. My mum here spotted a really cool shelving uh, unit thing, um, which is useful for in the garage or whatever but or any events i'm hoping to do some events this year so and sell some stuff on and that'll be awesome for putting behind my stall and it'll get it nice and looking looking good for three quid you couldn't go wrong with that how much, how much is your furby 
Picked up his Furby for only £2. I thought I'd definitely grab it. It's one I've never really seen before and it's actually knackered inside, sadly. How much is your place? Well, 20 quid for a lot. There's two things inside. I saw a PS1 boxed, uh, it was chipped, no original games of it, it was pretty uh, shitty condition really. So I ended up leaving that behind for 20 quid, I didn't really need another one, so yeah, someone else can have it. Those are cool ones, are Spotted a big keyring box full of all sorts of keyrings in here, loads of South Park, Disney, football, anything you probably could find in there. I was just digging in there for a good while and I found a few um, Pokemon ones in there but my mum's actually holding them at the moment. I found a cool Pluto lighter which I thought was really cool so I'll definitely grab that. Two. Would you take two pounds for, for five? Two pounds for five of them, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Happy with paying two pounds just for those key rings. There was quite a few cool ones there, so definitely happy in that. So now let's head off to the pickups, guys, and we yeah, we we'll go to the next one after the pickups. See you in, guys. Hi guys, it's time for the pickups for the Saturday car boot I did. So yeah, I haven't done a Saturday car boot in so long. Sadly, I didn't do a pickup video in my car because I had my mum with me that weekend and she wanted to go along and have a look for some flowers and stuff. She got some cool bits as well, like some flowers and some DVDs. But yeah, I'm going to show you stuff I picked up from that car boot, which was really good. I'm the first time ever going to it and yeah, I'm definitely going to be hitting that one up again shortly. So yeah, the weather was awesome. It was massive. It was a great car boot and yeah, I enjoyed going to it. So it's not really that far from my house so or from where I live so yeah definitely gonna go again so let me show you what I got today or at this car boot so the first the first few things I got were these games here the first games I picked up which was a quid each which I thought was really good and it is Sonic All-Stars uh, Racing or Sega All-Stars Racing with Bango Bango Kazooie um, which is awesome I haven't got this one. I think I got the regular one, but I haven't got this one with the Bango Kazooie in it. So yeah, I got that, and it is complete as well, which is nice. Um, bit of this, which is apparently one of the worst Sonic games ever. I don't know. I've heard about it. everyone keeps saying it's rubbish. It's the Sonic uh, Sonic 06, um, the release of the Sonic game. Um, apparently, it's really bad, but I never played it before. But I grabbed it for the collection, so. Yeah, one game I haven't got, so yeah, definitely grabbing that beast. I grabbed it. So next up, I found is after the literally after I got those um, Xbox 360 games, I spotted some Mega Drive games, and that's like nice. Um, a Mega Drive game that I've never heard of or seen before. 
really cool um, and it was like a pinball game so I got this one so I thought I'd definitely give this a go it does say Genesis on it um, but yeah I don't know if it's gonna work it's a game I've never seen before just re just realize now it says Genesis on it I know some some of them don't play on the English consoles but yeah the Genesis game for the console it was pretty much Mega Drive um, yeah, I was going to try and stay away from them, but I picked this up by accident, not knowing it. But it looks really good, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm want to give it a go. So it is complete with the manual. If it opens, there we go with the manual and everything in there. So that's nice. Next, I got some more retro games, which is nice. Some a great stall I found. Uh, a guy actually, the guy actually knew who I was, which is really cool. Like I. It was unusual how he recognised me. It was quite funny though. It made my day. It really did make my day. Do if you're watching now, he recognised me by my wallet. And um, yeah, and I was heard him talking like, I reckon it might be the same guy that I recognised it from YouTube. And I'm like, yeah. And the man said it was me. Like, do you watch you Game Boys are awesome? And he said, yeah, I do. And yeah, he knew he was, he was meant. He was on about me. So it is wicked that i can't i can't really go anywhere nowadays it feels that way anyway like without people knowing who i am so it's really great it's a great feeling and i want to say thank you for the deal you did for me five quid each for those games you had some really good games in your store when I, I just didn't want to grab all of them i didn't have a lot of money on me and i didn't need them so i just grabbed the ones i was interested in I actually wanted to try out myself so thanks a lot for the deal so let me show you what i got so the first game i was really wanted to try out it's actually in my mega drive right now so yeah i, I wanted to give it a go it's not too bad it's quite difficult but yeah I'm, I'm really happy to have it i only paid fiver and i got um the real monsters which is an old cartoon from nickelodeon uh, i remember this back in nine so I never really what really watched a lot of it but i thought i'd definitely grab a game because i'd never played it before um wasn't completely cut as i said the game's actually in my uh, mega drive at the moment but um yeah thanks a lot for that that's fiver i thought that was fair it goes to that sort of price anyway uh but yeah i was happy to pay that you know the, the games i don't really see often Next up, I got myself a box. It's a box is a bit battered, but I thought for a fiver, I'd have it any day. Uh, I'll give it some love. Maybe get a box protector to make it a bit more fresher. Um, that is Bart versus the Space Mutants. So um, that is for the um, NES. So I thought we'd definitely get that. Um, it isn't complete. It's just got the cartridge. But the cartridge is in nice condition, which is nice. So nice condition cartridge. And then I got myself a Super Nintendo game box, which I thought I'd grab it. It's probably, I've heard it's not the best game in the world, but as I said, don't see box SNES games often. And for Fiverr, I thought I'd give it a go, so why not? And that is Bugsy. Um, don't know what it's like. I've heard that it's not very good, but yeah, definitely thought I'd give it a gr give it a little go. So yeah, the box is condition. It's crushed a bit, but you know, I'm happy. It's got. A missing tab there ripped off but 15 quid you know fair price so thanks a lot for the deal dudes um for you know doing that and thanks for um recognizing me and uh saying it was nice to say hi or kind of you know it was great so thanks a lot but i know how we put a game uh trivial trivial um game which is basically as you know questions and stuff about the game about the movie sorry um we had a look at some of the questions and that they're quite difficult actually so yeah I'm, um, I'm going to actually keep this to myself and you know, when we do Christmas or have people over we can actually play this so yeah I'm, I was happy to keep this one for my for myself um, yeah because my mum liked, the, uh, liked Harry Potter as well so we can play this Christmas time and that because it's Harry Potter's a really good movie and yeah so that was only a quid so I was really happy of grabbing that and with that I got a side up with it I think I've got this side up already yeah I've got exactly the same side up already on my shelf so he's going to be moved on, but for 20p I thought I'd grab him. Next up would have been some Harry Potter stuff. The rest of it's downstairs. I got a load of Harry Potter wizard chess stuff, um, which I thought was really cool. I'd never seen that ever. Very like uncommon sort of things to find. I've never seen it. Like, I think I've seen it once since I've been car booting for like, that was like years ago. But I grabbed all the stuff that she had. I think I left a few things behind, which I didn't realise it was actually part of it. But you know, but I paid seven pound i think which i thought was a fair price he was happy with that i did get this as well before i got the other bits this cost me 50p from the same lady um and it is a harry potter um 
as the key ring, which I thought was nice. Next would have been this Furby. Picked up another Furby. As you guys know, I like my Furbies, and this is one I found. Sadly, it is knackered. The batteries is leaked. I'm going to try and clean it up and get it better, but we'll try. We'll see and see if we can get it fixed. And sadly, someone has got some scissors to the eyelashes and started trimming them. As you can see, they've been trimmed. But so yeah, some kid has started to cut its hair and his eyelashes for some reason. I don't know if it's cut anything on here, but yeah. Poor little Furby. And last but not least would be some key rings I picked up. And I've got some uh, memory cards. So I've got these memory cards for a quid. Got a clear red one. Which is a double now, so I'll probably move that on. A clear blue one for the PS1, PS2, sorry, which I'm going to keep. Has got a crack on it, just there, but um, yeah, it should be alright. I'm happy with that. And I got a black one for the PS1, so that's going to be kept for myself. Kept for the collection. So that was a quid for those. I thought that was really good. And then last but not least, the key rings I picked up. You didn't actually see the ones, the first ones I picked out, because I didn't get my camera on in time. But the first key rings I picked out was this one. Picked out this one, Jigglypuff, um, which is nice. And then I got myself uh, this one, which is awesome. They light up, I think, but I think they need to do batteries or something. I don't know how they work. But yeah, I paid. They were asking 20, 50p each if they were asking. So I got um, four, five for £2, which I thought was all right. So... Yeah, got those ones, and then I got myself a Burger King one, which I actually had in my bag before. So, Burger King one. I got myself a really cool lighter. It is a Pluto lighter from, as everyone probably knows, from Disney. Uh, it's um, Mickey's dog, and it actually works, which is pretty cool. You can see it's flaming and going. So, yeah, really cool. Really happy with that. And then I got myself some little mini game, like a football mini game. It's like a virtual pet, but it's not. It's not a virtual pet. It looks like one. It's just a little mini game thing. Um, yeah, really cool. And I got those a two quid. So that's it for the um, Saturday car boot pickups, guys. Next, we're gonna head up the Sunday car boot. So I'll see you at that one, guys. It's time for the Sunday car boot. Let's see what we can do the Sunday car boot, guys. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff like last time. Yeah, Pokemon stuff. How much are they? Uh, gives three quid to all of them, mate. Um, all the Pokemon. There's that and a ball, I think, and there's a creature somewhere, I think. Is he, is he Pokemon? Sure. Yeah, he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know there's, I think there's uh, three of them. There's no more. You take two, right? Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. Um, There you go, thank you. Yeah, mate, thank you. Okay. Away for boy, so okay, thank you. <laughs> Pretty happy picking up those Pokemon figures for only two pounds, some really cool ones there, and some ones I've never actually seen and out and about, so yeah, happy grabbing him and the other ones. Last 55 with all of it. <laughs> Yeah. Out of the box. Yeah. Two controllers from the game. That's good job, really. Well, the silver one. Yeah. yeah. Is that a fair price, you think? I just need a controller. Yeah. Came to the carpet with Lewis here, and he was picking up this grey controller, which is pretty nice. Um, I think he paid, you've seen him in, I think he paid £10 for it, which is quite high. But. Yeah. But he will just do something. Because he's Skylanders. Everywhere, isn't it? What a big bag of them. Get in the way. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quite a nice controller for 10 quid, really. It's got, um, you know, quite one of the more the modern ones. A sweet find for only one pound, guys. I picked up this Mario Paper Mario, and yeah, awesome. I never had this game before, so I'm, this is straight to the collection. Is it allowed? Stop. Stop now. Because I got some. I know what you have, sorry. And I pay for those. Thank you. It's trying to take it. Yeah, Make it new, sweet girl. Have a look. Come on. Just Come see on what he wants. Right. Which one's the Xbox? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Pixel. Pixel. Um, um, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you have a disc? Yeah, I've got a disc. Yeah. Uh, I'm really not really using it much. Oh, now. do they have fun? Two pounds. Thanks. 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 Yeah, that's yours, Charlie. Oh, for 17. There wasn't any 360 games I was after. There was FIFA 17, which could have been good for trading, but it had massive ring around it. I think I'm not sure how much I wanted for it, but I do have a disc cleaner, but I don't know if it actually would get rid of it. I don't know, but I could try it one day. But let's head off now to the next car boot, guys. See what we can do here. Yeah, five me. A few titles here, but nothing that I was actually after. And Lewis was actually asking how much the Xbox 360 controller was. He'd just come back later on and pick it up for a fiver, which is not too bad. Uh, always good for trading controllers are. So yeah, he picked that up later on. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, man. I'm going to go over this way. There you go. Yeah. This guy is a trader. Um, yeah, I've seen him at a few car boots now, and a lot of his stuff is sun faded, which is really a shame. He's got a load of box Game Boy games, and sadly, all the top of them have like faded away over time, which is really a shame. But I do have a few flick through from his titles, but there was nothing there I was really wanting to add to my collection. But I thought I'd just throw this in for you guys. Having mummy holding it up, Luke. <laughs> How much is this? Uh, huh? Yeah. Box. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. It's a Game Boy case. Pokemon Pikachu one. You don't see that, it's like covered in blood. I just saw it like its face. <laughs> these are pretty cool. I've got one of these already. Yeah. I'll turn it up. How much are you getting? Yeah. Right. How much is this one? Well, I haven't played that yet. It's meant to be all glitchy when it comes out, isn't it? No. Been wanting to get to New York's 5. I probably should have picked it up for a 5. It wasn't too bad. Uh, maybe I'll come across it again sometime again. <laughs> How much is this case? Case? Yeah, it's just a case. It's just a case. 
case, I am. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. This is a great find for me, guys. Always pick up your empty cases. This is a game I've been wanting to get complete. I've actually got a disc for this in black label, and yeah, now it's complete, which is wicked. Really happy. How much are these? Ooh, ten pence. Ten pence. Yeah. <laughs> ten p for some mouse mats, guys. Metroid Prime mouse mats for the Wii. Couldn't go wrong with that. Not every day you see stuff like that, and yeah, 10p for three of them, wicked, wicked price. I'm going to leave it here as well, guys, with this, and uh, you can see me digging through some stuff. I see some very vintage uh, VHSs, which are quite cool, some old horror ones, which is nice. You know, people, I know some people who actually like uh, VHSs, and uh, the horror ones seem to be quite collectible, but I didn't end up picking any of, up, any of them up, but yeah, I thought they were quite cool. <laughs> Głowa bolała, to zobaczymy. You can turn it on, it's full charged up. I know, but you can see here. I wanted to get one even, I saw them online ages ago. You need to clean it. Oh, no damage. Problem. My daughter put some about it. No plastic. 30? No. No chance. Mm -hmm. God give it your recorder, is everything up, nothing up. Uh, what do you reckon? Yeah. What do you reckon about this one? Huh? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's five pounds, yeah. It's free. Yeah, we, 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 take, we take three pounds? Or? I can do less than five. I, okay. I take it on the internet, I over 15 pounds. Okay, thank you. I've got a blue nunchuck here if you need it. Well, I just wanted to come back and it's not working. Right? That was a pretty cool pad. I would have had it, but I was a bit worried about it not working. Um, but yeah, let's now head off to the pickups. Yeah, boy. Welcome back, guys. So let's get off to the Sunday Car Beat pickups and see what I've got in here. Um, yeah, Sunday Car Beat wasn't too bad. I've got a few cool things that I was happy with. So and there's a few games that I can add to my collection, which I'm really happy as well. So the first game I actually got I think was Hiss, but I didn't actually get it on video. Sadly, my, I didn't have my camera. I didn't get a lot of stuff on video on, Saturday, on Sunday, sorry, which was really annoying. 
But um, yeah, I got this, my first ever copy of, and I first ever found this game. I've never found it any other time. And it's Paper Mario for the Wii. It cost me a pound and it's not complete, but I'm not too fussed. It's added to my collection now, which I'm really chuffed about. Uh, next games I got would have been these. I got Dragon Ball Z, which I don't think I got on video again. I didn't get these on video because I was way too close to the person. And I didn't want them to see me turn on the camera on, so I didn't do that. Yeah, these were a great find. Uh, these are two quid each. I got uh, Dragon Ball Z and then I got, um, as you see, Crash Bandicoot. Really cool. And they're not this one isn't complete, but the other one I think is. Yeah, the other one's complete. But four quid for those, I thought that was alright. You wouldn't go down in price. I know I didn't think anything offered to me anything less. I thought they were fair prices, so yeah, happy with that. Um right, what else did I get from that car boot? Can I get anything else? No, I don't think I did. But I think we went on to the next car boot, which I didn't which I didn't get anything at. I went to three car boots on the Sunday. I didn't get anything at the first, at the next one. Except for like a watch I found. Which wasn't anything great to show you guys. Um, but we went to the second car boot. Or the, no, the third car boot. And I found this. Which I hopefully I got on video. I'm not sure if I did. We'll find out anyway. Um, yeah, it's just a case. Uh, for the For the game. I thought, yeah, I grabbed that because it's always they're always useful. Um, 50p that was. I thought that was, that was fair. That was a fair price. So, yeah, I got that. Uh, this I didn't get on video either. I didn't get a lot of stuff on video at the car, but it was really annoying. My camera was being a bit weird. It was so hot. Um, as you would have seen as well, the camera was getting quite blurry because I think because I was getting quite hot myself and it was steaming up the steaming it up. I don't know. I think that's what it was. I don't know, but it was getting a bit foggy, um, which is annoying. But I got this. This is really cool. I've never seen this before. It is a Donkey Kong monster truck. It's actually Hot Wheels. Um, never seen it before. It's just cost me a quid. And you see, I'll do that. Right there. You know, it's got a buck of wheels, but yeah. It's quite a fast little car. You push it along the floor. But yeah, really nice little uh, Donkey Kong monster truck. So I definitely thought I'd pick that up for a quid. Really cool. Actually, yeah, sorry, I actually forgot. I actually picked up these from the first car boot on a Sunday. Um, this is the first thing I spotted, and it is this awesome Hokoran, really cool figure. I, I grabbed him. These, were, these these ones I got were only two quid, so I got him. I got a Mankey, I think his name is. Um, and I got this little guy as well, which I don't really know what he does. He pushes his feet down and... Some, his head comes off, I don't know. But, yeah, I got him as well. He's from, like, the mod, more newer Pokemon, I think. I'm not sure which one, he, what year is he from. Oh, well, no, he's not. He's from the old ones, 1994. So, yeah, got him as well. So, that's really cool. And I got this one I'm from that car as well, from the first one. I got his iPod. Which is nice. Um, it doesn't work sadly. It's been played around with. But I'm going to try and actually uh, fix it up. And maybe set it on. Or maybe set it as spares. Because these are worth a bit of money. So it's one of the... It's a 60... Uh, 60... Yeah, I would say 60, 160 gig one. Which is really cool. So it will cost me 4 quid. Um, so let's head back to the car that we're talking about. So the last car I did. I got... This uh, this is actually one I had up there, but I've replaced it because one I got what I got from the car boot was a lot better condition than this one. So this is my one. It's got some wear on its cheek, as you see. And the other one I've put up there is mintier, um, and it's got some wear on its eyes as well. But this is the, P the P Pikachu Game Boy bag. Um, as you see, you can put the games in there and you put the Game Boy in there. It's a really cool bag, and he only cost me a quid. Um, but yeah, as I said, this is going to be this is a spare one now to move on. I got another Pikachu from someone else. I was going to leave this one because its foot has been chewed by something, as you can see, sadly there. Um, but I realised it's actually a talking one under here, so I've never seen this version before. So he's probably going to be kept for a little while. Maybe move on, move him on. But here's another vintage Pikachu. I just I've been picking up so many Pikachus this year. It's been crazy with Pikachus. So yeah, another Pikachu to the collection. 
Um, I picked up this case. I picked up this case, guys, because I had the game at home. I was so happy. This was 50p. I've actually got the platinum version, but now I've got the black label because I had the black label disc. So I just saw this was empty when I picked it up. It was 50p. Picked it up, and now I've put the disc in it, which is here. So the disc is in there now with it, which is nice. And that only cost me 50p uh, with the, for the case. So it's, and it, it came with a manual, which was nice. So that made my day. I was really happy picking it up. The case is in minty condition as well. Um, some really cool memorabilia, um, some mouse mats, which I thought were really nice. Then never seen these before, so I thought I'd definitely grab these up for the Wii Wii collection bits. Um, so yeah, I got three of these, and they only cost me 10p, 10p for the three, which was nice. You know, when you never, it's not the sort of thing you see every day. I don't know what they're that what they're worth or not, but yeah, I might grab some, move one of one or two of these away and keep one for myself. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much all the finds I got on the Sunday car boot. And yeah, let's head off now to the Monday car boot and see what I do here, guys. So see you in a bit. And all the good stuff. <laughs> They're all in, they all work. Yeah. A few Xbox 360 titles the guy had, but there was no titles there. I was actually after for myself. Um, so I ended up leaving them for someone else. Uh, yeah, as always, leaving them some for someone else. There you go, I'll give you a pound. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Really nice amiibo little case for your amiibos, as I said. Uh, one pound, really couldn't go wrong with that. Looks really nice. I love the mushroom. Can't go wrong with the one up mushroom. I spotted that this girl had a box DSi in her hand. As you can see, she's looking at my money at the moment and sat in the car. Uh, Lewis ends up asking how much they want for it in a minute. Um, so yeah, I didn't end up picking this up, but Lewis ends up picking it up for a really good price. I didn't really need a DSi. Um, this one was actually boxed, but... Uh, yeah. Twenty-four seventy-nine. Yeah. Yeah. There was one game in the box, wasn't there? A Harry Potter one in the box, which didn't have a case. Hold on one second. So a couple of these didn't have anything in. But were you interested in games as well? Yes, there's two in there. You might just need to find out which ones were that don't have any in. Um, but there's a Harry Potter in here as well. That, um, I can't remember which year it is. Um, I think it's the Batman one. And I think it's that one. And, um, possibly one of those, yeah. Those are the two that don't have anything. In. I think the rest, I'm going to double check, I think the rest have all got the games in. And then there is the Harry Potter, which doesn't have its box. Don't know why. Where did, is, is it in there? Oh, there you go. How much is it for all? Um, I'm going to say £15 for all. Yeah. Um, that one is Harry Potter years 5 to 7, if that means anything. As you've just seen, Lou's picked up that DSi for 15 quid with a few games. They got about five or six games. Um, the DSi was boxed, it was red, a uh, really nice one. Uh, I actually would needed, I actually needed the box, but I didn't really need it desperately. I've not really got much space to display it with a box. I've already got one unboxed. But yeah, Lewis picked it up for 15 quid, so well done for him. I've got, I've got the red one, I haven't got the box. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've got a red one. How much are these? Three pounds. Three pounds? Yeah. Three pounds each? Yeah. How much are they? Three pounds each? So. Yeah.
You take five for the three. Sorry? You take five pound for three. Six pound three. Going in, yeah. 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 You got any, got any change? Uh, uh, I might have. Me, it's item, sorry. Yeah. So, right, let's have a look. Thank you very much. Um, one, two, three. Six. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. These made my day worthwhile on this bank ride in Monday because I didn't really get a lot and yeah, at least the six quid was really nice, really good score. Uh, I remember these were actually at Lidl a while back. They were like, uh, I think it was like four quid each, something like that. And I've got the whole set here for only six quid. So yeah, can't go wrong with that. All sealed, never been opened. And yeah, sweet little find. Oh. No, stay there. Yeah, once it's done, done, it's a classic one. Right? Would you take two pounds out? Yeah. You got it. You got it, I'll get it. I'll that one for. Oh, I'm spent on my quid today. Yeah, you've had everything else. I was going to get it, but I see you got it. Get the seal one. Sonic Generations on the Xbox 360, a game that I didn't have, as you see, it's been a bit of a Sonic week. I've got uh, three Sonic games now um, for the 360, and this is only two quid, and yeah, I haven't got this game in the collection, so really happy to have this one. And yeah, let's head off now, guys, to the pickup video, guys. Let's do some pickup. Hi, guys, just done the bank card in Monday, Carby, and yeah, it wasn't the best. Uh, I finally got something good near the end of it. Um, so yeah, what I've got was hopefully i got a video my best find i'm going to show you first because yeah i'm happy with that um picked up these these used to be at lidl for like, a couple of years ago i got these for six quid which i thought was good brand new i got the super mario bros um donkey kong junior one and then another super mario or another mario one um so yeah i paid six quid for those i thought that was fair um i tried to get it down to five because you wanted three quid each but yeah six quid not too bad next thing i got guys is this amiibo bag i uh, spotted it i saw it said amiibo on it um well actually i didn't really know what it was but when i looked at it closely it said amiibo on the little tag bit there it's a, it says a pound so i paid a pound for this and yeah it's that's little amiibo bag I thought I'd grab that for a quid. And last but not least, or no, it's not last but least, I picked up um, Sonic Generations on the Xbox 360 for two quid. She wanted three quid, but I got it down to two, complete with manual. Um, so I've got that one. I got a CD, which I'm going to play on the way home, I think, um, which is Lincoln Park Living Things. Uh, which is one I've been after, I've not been after, I didn't know it was out, so yeah, I'm collecting a few CDs and bands that I like, so yeah, that's awesome. That was a pound, and then something random to show you guys a little weird flying thing for a quid because I was getting pissed that I couldn't find anything good. Um, went around with Lewis again, and um, yeah, as you see, we picked up a two a DSi for. 15 quid with a load of games. 
I spotted it actually, the, the girl was sitting in her car, um, I thought she was hogging it or she wouldn't want to sell it. So we waited, Lewis asked, and yeah, the lady wanted uh, £15 with uh, all the games, which is not bad. So yeah, I'm not too fussed, I've already got the red DSi. I would have liked the box, but I'm not too bothered really, I don't really need it. Um, I would have grabbed it if I, you know, asked. But Lewis got in there, he grabbed it, which is all good, so yeah. Um, well that's it guys for this one guys um, I just seen I've I'd, I'd done some already seen uh, did some on uh, Sunday and Saturday but I didn't end up doing a pickup video for those actually in the car but hopefully I've actually done the pickup video um, at home and showing the stuff I picked up but anyway that's it guys and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one thanks a lot and I, yeah see you guys in a bit so welcome back guys, hope you enjoyed it. As I saw I got some cool stuff, I got some nice retro bits from actually from a viewer, which is nice. You actually knew who I was, that was really good. Thanks for hitting me up with that deal, I'm very really happy with that. Um, I got some all sorts of bits and bobs, a few games in the collection, uh, Mario Paper Mario, which was great. Uh, that's straight into the collection. I got a few um, Sonic games for the collection as well, which I didn't have, so I added those to the collection, which I was really happy about. So yeah, I've got lots of bits and bobs that I actually added to my collection as well. So yeah, as I said, it's really great. Um, a few things that I've got to actually move on as well. You would have seen a few games that I've actually already got, which I thought were fair prices. And I thought, yeah, definitely pick those up and I can make some money back on them. But yeah, the retro games I picked up, they were ones I'm definitely keeping. I'm going to be playing. I really wanted to play the real monsters. I know it's not actually the best game, apparently. I have had a go on it this week and it wasn't too bad, actually. I played it, played it and uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's not the best in the world but i thought i'd give it a go and yeah i'm happy to have it to my collection i'm not really picked up any mega drive games for a while that i actually want and need for the collection so yeah it's nice to pick up a few mega drive games for so five pound each i couldn't leave them i know there's a few more there i actually wanted but i didn't have a lot of money on me that weekend so i didn't want to spend up too much i wanted to save just in case i see something else that i really wanted but yeah really happy hopefully this video is out on saturday if it is the giveaway announcement will be coming up tomorrow so that'd be great so it'll be sunday coming up hopefully you guys have entered and fingers crossed whoever wins i'm looking forward to find out who wins everyone who has entered that so far is great i, I think i've got about over 100 entries already which is just mental so thank you to everyone who has entered the giveaway good luck to all of you who have entered and yeah i want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's supported my channel and who has subbed and liked and has entered the giveaway because yeah it means a lot guys it really means a lot so i'm gonna leave it here guys thanks a lot for everyone who has watched this video i really appreciate it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye